All right, I just want to start with an update on where we are this season. We are in first? Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's right, after three games, we have nine points, despite being on professional skill level. Ahead of Chelsea, not a surprise. Also ahead of Swansea City, who have nine points from their three games, very surprising. And Watford. It's it's a crazy table for those of you who know anything about, about English football. Liverpool are in 13th behind Everton. What? Uh, Spurs are in 9th, Arsenal in 11th, and Manchester United just outside of the relegation zone with one point from three games, the same one point that Manchester City has, despite presumably continuing to spend $300 million a year on players. So, it's a weird time, and we have a very winnable game today against Huddersfield Town, one of the smallest teams, and, I mean, overwhelmingly the ugliest kit. Meredith, look at that kit. Appreciate it. I mean... It's, it's epic. It's like when, I'm starting to think that third kit designers design their third kits to be ugly. Like that's what they're supposed to do. All right, we've got a, we've got a question from Sam or a problem that I'm going to solve because I'm in the problem solving business. And Sam donated the Project Frost and thank you, Sam. Sam writes, I've come to the conclusion that I'm an extrovert with social anxiety. I always thought I was an introvert, but really, I think it was my social anxiety. Do you have any tips on how I can be present in the world and around people without my brain telling me that everyone hates me? You know, aside from going to therapy. Well, I mean, no. I think you do need to go to therapy. Like, I, I think it's important. So, one of the things that I think think a lot of us do when it comes to mental health is and I mean to some extent with physical health like I know I do this is we we're constantly kind of trying to diagnose ourselves or like understand ourselves in a matrix of wellness and unwellness and then also in other matrices that help us to understand ourselves and identify what's going on inside our brains and bodies because it's all very mysterious Speaking of mysterious, there is beautiful Mr. Managerinio looking as mysterious as always. So I'm starting the exact same uh, starting 11 as in our previous game because it worked, but Trotter was very disappointed that I didn't start him. And you know what I told him? I told him that he should be better at football if he wants me to start him. He should get better at the game. And that's where we left it. So... He's going to get mad. He's going to ask for a transfer. Whining, whining. But look, you're on the bench for the team that's first in the Premier League, despite having 66 skill level. Shut up and be grateful. You're making $3,000 a week. <laughs> Life is good. Um, right, so I think we're always trying to understand ourselves in this, like, both, like, when it comes to, like, introvert, extrovert matrix, when it comes to, like, sick, well, uh, you know, whatever. Is that guy injured? No, I and I think those categories can be can be helpful at times. I also think that they can be unhelpful. Why are they telling me to make a substitute? Oh, he is injured. Flipping heck! All right, what's the injury? It's just a band aid, but probably to be safe. The funny thing is, Trotter is still going to complain about the fact that he didn't start, even though he's coming on in the sixth minute. So he's going to be like, "I'm really disappointed not to start, boss." This is going to be a direct quote. What? What are you doing, Rafo? Rafo? For the love of God, Raf? What the flipping heck, Rafo? Obviously, I wanted you to pass it to our player, like that. Oh my God. Um. Well, we're playing. We're playing. We're not playing like the best team in the Premier League. That's for Jesus. Good Lord. Thank God that guy's terrible. And that guy's had two clear shots on goal and he's missed them both uh maybe maybe professional skill level isn't high enough maybe we need to go world class maybe we're a world class team i don't know anyway the i i think it can be helpful to think of like to understand ourselves as introverts or extroverts but i also think it can be kind of limiting because most of us are are both depending on circumstances right or at least i know i am like I'm usually... Oh, wow. That was a pretty good shot, actually. I think that was Lua Lua, too. But 
usually I'm quite I, like I'm quite introverted. I can spend a lot of time by myself. Um, I, I need to spend a fair amount of time by myself to feel well and to feel happy. Um, but like I don't think it's I, I don't think it's like this super simple dichotomy where you're either X or Y. Is is Ball John Green hurt? Because that that I do not. Oh, he is. I mean, how can we have two injuries in the first 20 minutes of the game? Oh, it looks like, oh no. Oh, oh God. Oh, panic. Raw, unadulterated, everything worked out better than expected. Nope, nope, still panic. Back to panicking. And now we're good. All right, we've got to take off John Green. He's way, way too important to the team to risk an injury. That means that it's time to bring on Dicko. Is he our best player? No. Is he our best player in this position who is not John Green? Yes. So it's Dicko. You can see a very frustrated ball John Green there. And then Dicko's saying, you come this way. But actually, I haven't changed the tactics at all. So don't, don't, don't do what Dicko just said. Stay where you are. I want, we are a tactically astute team. We're a fine oiled machine. Don't mess with it. Get it to John Green. That's good stuff. So, like, I guess the first thing that I would submit is that you might be you, you you might be introverted in some ways and extroverted in other ways um like it might not it 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 might not be purely social anxiety but it also might be but i also think that in general when we like diagnose ourselves and again like i'm as guilty of this as anybody um we sometimes do ourselves a disservice because we may not we we may not understand the situation as well as an expert would or even as well as like anyone from the outside would and so that is why i think it's really important if you're concerned about your health whether it's your physical health or your mental health to go and see a professional to understand to so that you can so that you can get some expert uh expert opinion on what's going on like I diagnose, I diagnose myself with physical ailments on a on a regular basis, um, but I, I I find that I'm often not as reliable as a doctor when it comes to uh, figuring out what's wrong with me. Like I have a lot of, uh, you know, like 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 by googling things, I can come to a lot of conclusions, um, which often turn out to be oversimplified or incorrect. And so I I just think it's I so I know that I know that you don't want the tip go to with go to therapy or, or you don't want the tip go to a psychologist or talk to your doctor but I think that is the tip in this situation and in any situation when you're concerned about your health like it, I, I get I get why it's not what do you what the actual crap gumney look Mr. Managerino just did something weird with his leg because he's so stressed out that was some epic epic just high quality Hank games without Hank right there okay can you keep the ball in good whatever you do don't pass it to gumney that guy's totally unreliable oh you did pass it to him all right that's this is not bad lua lua's on the ball he's got some pace look at him he's just going back to his original position on the left midfield it's good stuff there we go a little cr little cross field action get the ball up the pitch a little bit pass shoot Get right into his arms. Not not a gnome's best one, but what are you going to do? Life's full of disappointments. So, and and then uh, so that's the first thing that I would say. I like don't love going to the doctor any more than anyone else, but I don't think you can get a reliable diagnosis without talking to professionals. I just don't. I wish that I'd known that earlier in my life because I feel like I lost a lot of time trying to solve problems that I just couldn't solve by myself uh, and trying to understand my, my mental health in ways that were limited because of my limited knowledge. And so I, I think the other thing is that we're always learning about ourselves and we tend to see ourselves as static, like we tend to see our personalities as static, like you start out introverted and you end up introverted. But there's a lot of research that that is not totally true. You know, that, that people, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't believe that our personalities are 
are static or that we are like fated to always be the people that we currently are. I think people change and grow a lot over the course of their lives. And, um, and, and, and sometimes those, sometimes those changes make us, you know, more outgoing over time or more interested in social engagement over time. And sometimes they, sometimes they have the opposite effect. Like, I think I actually needed more time with people. Sometimes I think back to when I was at boarding school or when I was in college, I was almost never alone, especially at boarding school. Like I was, you know, I, I had, you know, 15 minutes alone per day, maybe. And now I very happily can spend like 10 or 12 hours alone a day or more. And, and it's not a, it, it, you know, like it, it, it doesn't bother me. And in fact, like it seems really essential to my wellness to have some, at least some time alone every day. And, but that wasn't the case when I was 16 and it may not be the case when I'm 60, if I'm 60, who are we kidding? I mean, I hope, I, I hope, I, God, I hope I live to be 60. I just, I think I would, I think I would, I think I would be pretty good at old age. I don't know. I'm a complainer, so maybe not. But anyway, I, I, I don't think your personality is static. And I don't think that like, um, you know, we, y you are necessarily always going to be, have the problems that you have now or, or have, or have the challenges that you have now, or even have the like wants and needs that you have now. So that's the other thing to bear in mind. All of that noted, I do have some tips for handling or living with social anxiety because I don't think it's like the central locus of, of my anxiety, but I mean, like a lot of people, I do feel anxious in social situations. Um, they are, uh, you know, they're anxiety provoking. The first thing is that uh, I think part of the reason we feel anxious in social situations is because we have fewer social situations. That This is a, uh, I might be wrong about this. I think it's, I, I, I don't think the research is there yet. Um, to, to like to prove this but my own feeling and again it's just a feeling you know I'm going to make that substitution just because I think Gumney's had a bad game there we're doing it my own feeling is that we oh god it's off the post my own feeling is that we use the social internet and uh, you know, Snapchat and whatever else, partly as a, as a way of like engaging with people socially without having to engage with people socially. And that has the effect of making real life social situations appear more stressful. It's gotta be, and it is. Oh my good golly, Miss Molly. It's John Green, Nay Bennett. Is he playing the flute? Not sure what just happened but I don't regret it. It's John Green makes a turn and then the Huddersfield player kind of like gives him a shove and that actually makes it easier for John Green to score. And look at that ball ripple the back of the net. Mr. Managerino couldn't be happier. And look at the look at the other substitutes. He did that for his husband, for his injured husband. And you could see you could see if you looked closely that he pointed at the heavens. But, you know, just for the record, Ball John Green isn't dead. He's, he just, has a, he just has, a, has a bit of a knock. All right. We're winning. This is incredible. We keep winning. The other teams are hitting the post. They're making mistakes. They're getting one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And all we do is win. I love it. We almost have enough points to stay up, which was my initial goal for the season. It's Dicko. It's Dicko. It's Dicko. It's Dicko. It's Dicko. It's Dicko! Oh, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's the dicko of our memory. Those of you who've been around for many years will know that we've had dicko so many times through the years, over and over again. And he never fails. I mean, it's great. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's not a great shot, but the goalkeeper was very late to move. And we're up 2-0. We're going to win the game. It's incredible. I love football. I love FIFA. I love AFC Wimbledon. I love life. Anyway, what I was going to say is that 
social, because we use these apps for social engagement rather than engaging in real life social situations a lot of times, real life social situations start to feel more stressful because they're more rare and they feel like special and heightened and, and, and then that contributes to the way that they start to feel like sources of anxiety and so we avoid them and so when we have to do them they feel more like sources of anxiety and for me at least it becomes a bit of a vicious cycle and so one of the tips I have for dealing with social anxiety is to in, uh, engage in more social situations if you can if you're comfortable and I know that that's difficult and I know that it takes work but it takes less work the more you do it by the way, they just, I mean, Huddersfield can't find the goal to save their lives. The other thing that I would say is that if you have really good uh, friends, which again, takes time to develop, doesn't, not easy, those social situations start to feel less like capital S, capital S social situations, and that makes them a little easier. My last tip, remember what my wife told me when we met 18 years ago, the truest thing I've ever heard, nobody's thinking about you because they're too busy thinking about themselves. I find that very helpful in social situations. All right, we won the game. Dicko with a goal. Everything is beautiful. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.